Let's pretend that you've imported a motor car into South Africa. You have to pay 20,000 US dollars for this vehicle. For the moment, we'll call on good old Ceteris Paribus and ignore any administrative fees or custom duties that you might have to pay in real life. If you could buy a US dollar for seven rand, the car would cost 20,000 times seven. That's 140,000 rand. If the rand depreciates, and you have to pay 8 rand a dollar, then the same car will cost you 160,000 rand. And if the rand appreciates to 6 rand to the dollar, the car will cost only 120,000 rand. In other words, the more an importer has to pay for a US dollar in rand, the more expensive the imported products become in rand terms. So, if a US dollar is more expensive, it costs more rand to buy. And that means the rand has depreciated or lost value against the US dollar. And if a US dollar is cheaper to buy in rand, it means the rand has appreciated against the US dollar. We said that one source is our exports, so let's look at what happens when we export products to a country that pays in US dollars. Let's pretend that you're an exporter. You tell your buyer in the US they must pay 70,000 Rand for the consignment of goods that they're buying. But remember, they use US dollars, so they must go to their banking system and arrange to send you enough US dollars so that you receive your 70,000 Rand. If the exchange rate is 7 Rand to the US dollar, the buyer needs to pay you 10,000 US dollars to give you the 70,000 Rand. But if the exchange rate is 6 Rand to the dollar, the buyer must find $11,666 plus 67 cents to ensure you get that 70,000 Rand. And at 8 Rand to the dollar, the buyer only needs to pay you 8,750 US dollars. So if a US dollar costs more in Rand, meaning buyers in the US will get more Rand per dollar, it becomes cheaper for them to buy South African products. In other words, when the Rand depreciates against the dollar, our exports to the US become cheaper for the American buyer, which is good news for our exporters. If, on the other hand, the RAND appreciates against the US dollar, then our exports become more expensive for the American buyer. So, if we need to increase our exports and decrease our imports in order to reduce our trade deficit, one way this can be achieved is if the RAND depreciates against the currency of our trading partners. But of course, this means that our imports become more expensive, which could lead to other complications, like increased prices. So what is the ideal situation, the perfect balance, the goal? Well, that's still being debated. As you see, it's not straightforward, and the debate can get more complex. But for now, we've covered enough on the foreign sector to help you understand most of the important concepts. We'll put what we've